Off the top at 5 o'clock, a risky rescue out there happening 12 stories above the ground on Key Biscayne this afternoon. A worker left dangling after the scaffold he was working on just collapsed. Local 10's Derek Shore is live with the latest on this developing story. Derek. And guys, that scaffolding just came down a couple seconds ago. You can see this building there and some workers down there, but he was about 10 to 12 stories up. I want to show you some video of this guy dangling. We're told he was on a scaffolding when somehow it gave way. Thank goodness he was wearing a safety harness, uncomfortable but alive. And take a look at Miami Fire Rescue and Key Biscayne Fire Rescue spent time scouring uh, their own lines, securing their own lines, I should say, and rappelling down the side of the building to secure that man and try to get him down. We're told he was tangled and a line actually of his had to be cut. After what seemed like about an hour or so, Fire Rescue finally able to get him down to the ground where he was assessed. People in this area breathing a huge sigh of relief as they waited and watched this incredible rescue by the technical rescue team. That man was okay, experiencing some numbness to his legs, loaded into a stretcher. He spent some time in an ambulance before being checked out and then transported eventually to Jackson Memorial Hospital. Take a listen to the Key Biscayne Deputy Fire Chief. He did have some numbness in his leg, and what we did was um, we helped him and assisted him to try to just reposition himself as best as we could till we had the City of Miami TRT team. Uh, have two personnel hook into their harnesses and bring him all the way down. And now I want to show you some incredible viewer video taken from one of the balconies of this building of the Grand Bay Resort here on Key Biscayne. That man you can see there dangling, being tended to by rescuers. We're told firefighters were going to have a huge problem pulling that man into the building because this building is equipped with hurricane impact windows, which are nearly indestructible. That is why they eventually decided to lower him down. As we come back out here live, I did see that man, and you could see that man being uh, loaded into an ambulance. He did seem okay. He was sweaty. He had a bottle of water. He is expected to recover. Numbness to his legs, but likely just from hanging as long as he did. The investigation now underway to figure out why that scaffolding gave way. We're live in Key Biscayne after an incredible rescue. I'm Derek Shore, Local 10 News. Really was incredible. Derek, thanks a lot. And that worker was taken to Jackson Memorial Hospital after he was safely lowered to the ground. Our live team coverage continues now with our Glenna Milberg. Glenna. And it was just a precaution. Calvin Laurie, and that is the good news. We watched as he came in here about half an hour ago. He was alert. He was talking to the paramedics. We have some video of that. You can see he had his sneakers on still, although it looked like they had undressed him from the top down to do all kinds of preliminary assessments on him in the ambulance on the way here, which was about a 20 minute drive, it seemed like from there. But so much interest now in this man's safety. And you have to remember, he uh, we're, we're waiting to find out whether he is an employee of the Coast to Coast Construction Company, the company that's working on the Grand Bay. We're not really clear on whether he's an actual employee, maybe a subcontractor, and what exactly he was doing on that scaffolding. But whatever it is, of course, is an inherently dangerous job to begin with and the poise and the calm demeanor that this man had throughout his ordeal continues here at Ryder Trauma where he is as I said as just a precaution. Uh, we have not seen any kind of family arrive for him yet. We expect that he will not be here very long because they say he's doing very well. I'm Glenna Milberg live at Ryder Trauma today local 10 news.